Hello, today we'll be taking a look at the delete gaps feature in DaVinci Resolve and how to create something like this. In like two minutes, let's say you've come back from your travels and you shot a load of clips over the last few days and you want to create some kind of a cool montage where the frames flick like a buck very, 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 very quickly where each frame is maybe like one or two frames long. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come over to our clips that we shot during our travels. I'm going to come all the way down here and we're simply just going to drag this into our timeline in DaVinci Resolve like so. And then we're going to see a massive timeline with all of these clips. So now we want to create the flickering effect where one video only lasts maybe one or two frames. So what I'm going to do is you just can select all of your clips like this. Alternatively, you can probably press Alt Y and that'll select everything in front of your playhead. After you've done this, you're going to right click, come over to change clip duration and you're going to click on frames and then you're going to select how many frames you want each video to last. For me, maybe I want each video to last two frames. So if I press two, it's going to press change. And then you can see all of our clips that we have here. You can now see that all of them are now only two frames long. Now the problem and what I used to do in the past was I just used to manually just delete all the gaps like this, but we don't have to do this anymore. So what you can do is instead is just select all of your clips like this. And probably zoom in for you. So select all of your clips like this, come over to your edit at the top right here, and then you can come over to delete gaps. When I press this, <laughs> it's very good. It posted this on Instagram and I got a comment that said, this must have taken you so long to make. But in fact, it took me like five minutes max, minus the color grading. The color grading takes a little bit longer. So now you can see we have, when I press play, we have this beautiful flickering effect and essentially I created a whole montage of my trip. This can also work with, let's say somebody is dying and you can also add like uh, a blinking effect, really slow blinking effect while this is playing in the background. So it's like their life is passing before their eyes. But now to color grade the clips, you can color grade them however you want. I just threw on a really quick look using Digifilm like this. I simply came over to my luck table, turned this on, show compound node, I turned off the legacy luck. Here we have 22 different lucks in DaVinci Resolve, but I really just wanted to play with the sunrise luck that we have here. Then in my exposure node, I just came up to my HDR wheels, increase my global like this, and I increase my shadows like this. And then in my global here, I simply just added loads of warmth, some more orangey warmth like this. And then I turned on my effects to give it much more of a filmic look. So you're going from before and after. And the grade wasn't anything spectacular, but I just wanted to create some kind of a color cast towards the image, hence why I used the gain. You can also just use the offset wheel as well to push in even more color for this type of edit for something like Instagram or whatever it is. You don't have to be super particular with your color grade. Then to copy the color grade from this clip to the rest of the clips, you can simply select all your clips like this and right click on the clip that you've already color graded and press apply grade. And when you've done this, I know there's clips beforehand, but we can forget about those. And then you can kind of press play and you'll see that it's pushed that color grade into all of your clips. Of course, so many of these need adjusting ever so slightly. So what you can do instead, of course, I'm in a timeline already. What I recommend you do if you're doing an effect like this, just in one, one particular timeline, go over to the dots here in your timeline and do your overall grade and then come back over to your clip management, which is here for each of the clips and just adjust it wherever it needs adjusting. I know this is like one of the most funkiest grades you've ever seen in your life, but this tutorial wasn't to do with the grades. It was more so just to showcase to you the deleting gaps feature and how much quicker you can edit utilizing this. So yes, I hope you found this helpful. It kind of blew my mind when I utilized this and I'm sure you'll have way more use cases than utilizing it just for this effect and creating an Instagram reel. But yeah, happy to hear what you guys think. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please do like and subscribe. Thank you.